What is going on today, everybody? It's Buddy here. And in this video, you guys are going to learn how to replace your brake rotor in your BMW E90, E91, E92, and E93. And for you guys who don't know, this is going to cover every 3 Series BMW from 2006 to 2013. Now, I'm also going to have a separate video for how to replace your brake pads in your car as well. So check that out. That will be in the description below. So for now, let's jump right into the video. And as always, under the video in the description box, I'll have Amazon links to all the tools and materials I use for this job. Now before even jacking up the car, the very first thing you want to do is pull up the emergency brake. And then we're going to apply wheel chocks to the back wheels. And if you don't have actual wheel chocks, you can use a 2x4. Just be sure to use your foot and wedge it in the back wheel nice and tight so the car doesn't move. And now that we got our emergency brake up and our wheel chocks in place, we're going to go ahead and crack the lug nuts loose while the wheel is still on the ground. Now with our lug nuts broken loose, we can go ahead and jack up the front of the car. Now let's go ahead and throw some jack stands under the car to make sure it's nice and stable while we work on it. Now we can go ahead and pull our lug nuts all the way off and move our tire out of the way. Now after we got the tire removed, we're going to go ahead and get in the car and we're going to turn our steering wheel so the brake caliper faces towards us. That's going to give us a lot easier access to reach the bolts that we need to get to. Now coming back here behind the brake caliper, you're going to see we have our little caps right here for our guide pin. So we're just going to use our nail. We're going to pop that off. Now after we got the cap off for this guide pin, we're going to go ahead and stick in a 7mm Allen key and break this thing loose. And once we cracked it loose, we're going to go ahead and we're going to pull it out all the way. And it's going to be the exact same procedure for the lower caliper guide pin as well. We're going to crack it loose and then we're going to take it all the way out. And if they're not properly greased like this one, you may have to take a screwdriver to get it out all the way. Now after we remove this guide pin from the back, we're going to go ahead and take off this retaining pin. What I'm going to use is a plastic pry tool. I'm going to stick it in the back between the rotor and the retaining clip. I'm going to grab right here with my other hand. I'm just going to give it some tension. And it should pull right out just like that. Now at this point, you should be able to just pull your brake caliper out with your hands, but this one is a little seized up, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a flathead screwdriver, and I'm going to slowly just pry it out. Pull from the top, and now the bottom. Back to the top. And back to the bottom. And it's off. Now I do have a bungee cord ready up here tied to the strut tower, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the bungee cord, I'm going to hook it on my caliper, and that way we're not putting a bunch of tension here on this line. You don't want to have a lot of tensions here on your brake lines. And then let's go ahead and pop out this other brake pad. Now coming back over here behind the brake rotor, we're going to have one and two 16 millimeter bolts holding our brake caliper mount to our knuckle. And if you notice that it looks all wet here behind my brake caliper, it's just because I just sprayed it down a few minutes before shooting the shot with some WD-40. With a large build of a brake dust, it can really seize up these bolts sometimes. So a good idea is to spray them down actually the night before with some WD-40 or some PB Blaster and let them sit overnight to help these bolts come out much easier when you do the job the next day. So we're going to go ahead and crack it loose and then remove it the rest of the way by hand. And then we're going to crack the bottom one loose and remove it the rest of the way by hand. And once we got our brake caliper bracket removed, we're going to go ahead and we're going to clean the services right here and right here. And the reason it's important to get these services clean is because this is where your brake pads actually sit and they glide along this. So you want to make sure this is nice and clean before you put this back. So we're just going to take some brake parts cleaner. And then we're going to take a wire brush and just scrub them down. And once we're done scrubbing it, we're gonna take our brake parts cleaner and we're just gonna spray all the loose gunk that we just removed. So now that we're done cleaning the brake caliper bracket, we're gonna start on our brake caliper. So we can go ahead and take this bungee cord off and then we're gonna take our brake piston compression tool, we're gonna to fit it in our caliper and we're just gonna get it hand tight for now. Now there's a lot of different variations of these brake piston compression tools, but here's the cheapest and highest rated one on Amazon. It's going to work the exact same way I'm showing you here. So I'll leave a link for that in the description below so you can check that out. And then we're going to take our socket wrench and we're just going to compress this down until it bottoms out. And once it bottoms out, you will not be able to crank it anymore. At that point, we can loosen it up a little bit. 
And just enough to get our tool out of here. So now that our brake caliper and our brake caliper bracket are out of the way, we have one six millimeter bolt that we're gonna take off. This is a hex head, so you can either use a hex head socket or you can use an Allen key. Now, if you are using an Allen key and not an impact gun, this thing is gonna turn because remember, we have no brake caliper on there, so it's just gonna spin when you try and take it off. So what you can do is you can just take a hammer and just smack it and break it loose. Now after we got this little bolt out, what we're going to do is pull this off, see if this thing is seized on there. Yeah, so it's pretty seized on there. So what you can do is take a hammer and just crack along right here. Now before we slap the new rotor on, we want to make sure that it doesn't seize up again like the last one. So we're going to take our brake park cleaner again, and we're going to soak this down right here on the front of the hub. And then we'll grab our wire brush and we'll just scuff it down. And then once cleaned off, we're going to take a little bit of anti-seize. Put a nice coat right here where the hub attaches to the rotor. And after we got our anti-seize in place, it's time to throw on our rotors. And I want to give a quick shout out to buybreaks.com for sending me out these EBC rotors. Buybreaks.com is veteran owned and offer the absolute lowest prices online guaranteed for brake pads, rotors, calipers, or anything brake related. They literally have ASC certified mechanics and race car technicians at their facilities so they can answer any questions you have prior to purchase. So check out buybreaks.com and I'll leave all their information in the description below. Now the easy trick of throwing these on is have your bolt in place and we're going to place it right here and line it up with the screw hole in the hub. Take our Allen key, wiggle it around, and screw it in. And then we'll tighten this guy down, tight is right. And before anyone says I put these on the wrong way, here's the other one, has a sticker from the factory, says left, this is the right wheel, so I don't want to hear any nonsense in the comment section. And before we throw our caliper bracket back on, we're just going to touch all four corners of the bracket where the brake pad meets the bracket with some brake lubricant. Now after our brake caliper bracket is all greased up, we can go ahead and reattach it to the knuckle with the two bolts that we took out. Then we're going to fit our brake caliper back in place. Now we can go ahead and spray down our brake caliper guide pins, wipe any loose grease or debris off of them. Now we can take our guide pin. And we'll get that nice and greased up. And then let's go ahead and screw in our top guide pin, just making it snug. We don't want to tighten it yet. And then repeat the process with the bottom brake caliper guide pin by greasing it and screwing it in. Now after we got these bolts snug, we're going to take our Allen key and we're going to tighten them down. Starting with the bottom and then the same thing here on the top guide pin. Make sure we get it nice and tight. And let's not forget our dust caps. And last but not least, we're going to reattach our retaining clip. So we're going to put it in an angle just like that. We're going to take our bottom part, pull it over, top part, pull it over, and then slap it back. Also, guys, if you haven't already, check out the channel where I have a bunch of high-quality BMW DIY videos like headlight housing removal, headlight replacement, radiator replacement, how to test and replace your spark plugs and initial coils, and much, much more. And if you're interested, my most popular video is me buying a beat-up BMW E90, fixing it up, and selling it for a few thousand dollars profit.